Okay, I think you can see something. Yes, already? very good, very good. Yes. Okay, so uh, I will uh, launch the all plan. And um, what I uh, first of all, what I advise you to do every every time when uh, you feel that it's needed, or uh, as I do every time in the morning when I'm starting uh, uh, my work, I'm going to do a backup. Uh, at uh, the project that I'm going to uh, do all the all the stuff that I'm planned to do it this day. So uh, that's the first thing that uh, we are going to do. We are going to make a backup at the project that uh, we've been working yesterday. Okay. So okay. I'm going to the skidere, and from here I'm going to click on. Uh, the yesterday's project, right click, and uh, create a backup project. It's uh, very simple. And here we can uh, choose uh, where uh, do you want, uh, you, you can choose where uh, do you want to save it. And also you can uh, rename uh, such uh, in the way that uh, you can uh, know that this is a backup, let's say. Okay, so now uh, if we manage to do something wrong, it's no problem. We can uh, we can all always uh, go back and uh, start uh, from uh, from beginning. Let's say not the very beginning, but uh, the, the this moment uh, version. Okay, and now we are going to uh, start uh, working. So I'm gonna click OK. I hear some music or there is one, someone who wanna ask something or not? No, okay. So um, uh, I hope that uh, everybody uh, has the same thing uh, on the screen as me. Uh, and uh, just a little um, uh, thing to say. So yesterday we've done uh, the rooms for uh, this area, the right area of this building. And as you can see, we, um, I have here also some uh, finishes. If you don't have it, it's uh, no problem. Uh, I have it because I, uh, when I introduced them, I was already having uh, some settings in this area. And uh, they was uh, took uh, for all the all the rooms that I uh, inserted. So uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, paying attention at this. It's no problem. Uh, doesn't matter. It's only a thing about uh, uh, let's say uh, design and uh, architectural stuff. You know, so it's not important for uh, for us uh, doing the heating demand for uh, this uh, this area. Okay, so um, we are going to to enter now the heating uh, uh, heating system. I see here we have some uh, chat message. Okay, it's everybody present. Nice. Uh, so, as uh, I've told you yesterday, we are going to uh, make the heating and uh, all the systems, not only heating, ventilation, and uh, sanitary also, uh, only on this, uh, this area of the building, because uh, on the other one, it's all, almost uh, the same thing. Uh, and uh, we don't want to lose time uh, doing the same thing over and over and over, only uh, to understand the, the principle and after that, I think uh, you are uh, able to do uh, even uh, Palato Parlamentului if you want. <laughs> so, uh, okay, let's start for uh, the heating um, system. Okay, first of all, let's uh, double click in uh, the white space on the exterior of the building. And you are going to uh, uh, have this uh, window, okay? In this window, uh, for uh, what uh, we are going to do, it's uh, necessary to have the uh, ground uh, floor on uh, red. 
and uh, nothing else uh, open, let's say. I hear someone uh, in the back. There is someone who wanna spell something. No, it's okay. It's uh, we okay. don't need the, even the foundation slab. No, 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 no. Okay. I will uh, tell you after that uh, why. So only uh, the uh, ground floor structure structure let's say <laughs> because uh, we have it from the structural uh, department but uh, what we need here is to activate the um, the drawing where we have uh, defined those rooms okay and yesterday i have told you to define those rooms in uh, the ground floor uh, why sorry no it was something somebody was uh... Unmute. have the mic open okay yes no problem so uh, what i was told is that uh, what uh, we are going to do now in order to make the heating uh, demand uh, calcul we are going to uh, take uh, in count each uh, room that you can see here you see that even here uh, we have uh, this room and so on he is gonna um, um, or, HT. Read. read. He's going to read uh, all of these uh, rooms. And after that, we are going to make uh, settings for each element that uh, this room uh, contains. Let's say uh, this is a window, this is an exterior wall, and uh, so on. Okay? So that, uh, that's why it's important now in uh, order to make this, uh, this step to have a, like a open drawing, this drawing which contain all the rooms. Okay, so now uh, in order to, uh, to make our project, the first thing that uh, we have to do is to select uh, the normative, select, uh, select them normatively. Okay, so we are going to, uh, first of all, go to Instalatsi Cladiri, And from here, from general, from the first uh, menu, sub menu, let's say, we are going to click on the first uh, option. And here we, we find the selection normative. Because uh, we are uh, in Romania and uh, we want to make a calcul uh, for uh, this uh, Romania uh, area. Uh, we are going to choose also uh, Romania here and normative Romanesque. And after that, hit OK. Okay, so uh, that was the hardest uh, part. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, what we have to do now, it's uh, to make some uh, settings about uh, uh, general, uh, let's say, um, uh, reading uh, type, let's say, I will make um, a setting for uh, the type of element, let's say a window. I make a, I'm gonna make a setting for a general window. And after that, after I'm gonna make all the, uh, the writing for all the rooms, I'm gonna do only a little bit of changes, uh, let's say where it's needed in order to not have uh, too much to, to work, okay? So uh, this step is important. We have to go next. So in this uh, in this bottom, adaugare physical construcție. I'm gonna click. And uh, I will uh, receive this window. Okay. And from uh, this point, uh, I'm gonna make the general uh, general uh, data for uh, my uh, my um, my building. So first of all, I'm gonna set the data climatic Romania. So basically, here we choose all the uh, from all these uh, uh, options. We choose our city. Let's say uh, Bucharest. And from here. From this, uh, let's say, uh, general area, we have a more uh, 
more cities. If he is the case from Bucharest, it's only uh, Bucharest Banessa. And as you can already see here, we have um, the temperature uh, um, for this uh, this area. So this is uh, in Romania. It's called uh, date climatice. Deci calculele de necesar de căldură se fac pe baza unor date climatice. Că acolo îți explică ție cum evoluează temperatura în acea zonă. Ok. Minus 15. It's the temperature. It's the minimum temperature. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not the minimum. It's the calcul temperature for this area. Ok. Ok. So, um, Let's say if you have a, a winter where it's um, uh, minus uh, 35, I don't know if that exists or not, but uh, you are not going to make, uh, to dimension your uh, insulation, your uh, radiators, your everything, in order to, uh, to, um, să facă față la temperatura aia, to, okay? You are going to... I suppose, I suppose it's a media, no? Of team? It's a media plan, media pitotano. No, it's not a media pitotano, but it's a temperature of calcul, as you said, Mr. Mihai. Ah, I understand. Temperature of calcul for the season of rece. O să explic în română. Deci asta oricum se, se învață la, la facultate, deci se calculează o temperatură, asta și pe încălzire și pe răcire, este o temperatură de calcul, ceea ce înseamnă că această temperatură reflectă uh, și din punct de vedere economic și din punct de vedere al naturii, uh, cât, uh, de, de exemplu, dacă într-un an am foarte puține zile uh, mult mai friguroase decât asta, nu se justifică să... Uh, să fac radiatoarele foarte mari ca să-mi acopere mie necesarul ăla care o să-mi vină doar o dată la nu știu câți ani și dacă vine atunci asta este, mai împun niște șosete în plus și fac față sau nu o să fie sistemul meu la fel de în loc să-mi asigure 22 de grade o să-mi reușească să-mi acopere doar 21 de grade. Nu moare nimeni. E ca și cum te duci acum afară, știi că teoretic există 1% șanse să plouă și nu ți-ai umbrela după tine ca socari. Îți asumi riscul că dacă plouă, plouă. Asta e un risc pe care ne-l asumăm toți chiar dacă vedem că e soare afară și știm că e foarte posibil să nu plouă. E la fel și aici. Da? Cred că e clar acum. Am înțeles, da. Ok. Deci... Uh, uh, we are going to click OK now. And as you can see here, already we have uh, some uh, data uh, filled in. As, you, as we are going to uh, make some changes here, you are going to see that uh, some, uh, some uh, data are uh, going to be uh, completed uh, automatically by the, by the um, software, okay? So the next uh, thing that uh, we are going to do is uh, to to set the type of the building. We are going to say uh, blocuri locuințe birouri. Um, after that, we are uh, going to uh, say if uh, it's a moderat, uh, adăpostit, moderat, adăpostit sau neadăpostit. What that mean? It's, uh, for example, if your uh, building is in the, it's in the area that uh, does not have others, uh, other buildings around uh, around it, it's a uh, near the post it. If it's in uh, the, like uh, New York, in the, the center of New York, you have a deposit because you have a lot of other uh, building. And uh, let's say uh, you have a big wind, you are gonna be, let's say, uh, protected uh, for, um, uh, thanks to uh, the other building that you have next to you. Okay, so for this example, we are going to say that uh, uh, we, mm, we are a moderate acoperit, uh, okay? Here, uh, the next thing that uh, we have here, it's uh, the area that we can choose um, the orientation uh, of the building. And uh, the only important things uh, that you have to know here is that uh, when you choose uh, here an orientation, you will see that only this uh, little uh, symbol with uh, this cross, Yes, um, you will see here the north, and uh, what uh, this uh, means, let's say this situation, it means that the north 
it's in this area, let's say, of the building. Okay, so if I'm gonna change it, let's say, here, now it means that it's in this area, let's say this. So I have my plan here, like this, in, in this area, I have my north. It's not too difficult, okay? Now I have it here. For this example, I will, uh, I will let it like this, I don't care, I don't know, okay? But in a real situation, we are going to go on Google Maps and uh, or from the architect who uh, should uh, normally send you this information and uh, yes, you will uh, put it uh, right. Yeah, the plane is in the middle, right? Sorry? The plane is in the middle. Let's say, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's say from this point in that area, it's uh, the north, okay? So here yeah. you have the square, the square is in the center of this uh, cross, let's say. Okay, and uh, here uh, we have to say uh, some uh, values, uh, approximative values of this, uh, this building. So uh, uh, only I have to, only me, I'm gonna uh, and, uh, escape this, uh, this uh, window in order to measure. And after that, I'm gonna tell you the values. So don't uh, um, don't uh, exit that window. So I'm gonna take measure. Lungime, let's say from here to here, we have almost, let's say 9.5. And let's say 11. And the height of this building was uh, almost three. Okay, for you it's gonna be uh, something different. Okay, here the height of the floor it's gonna be different. I don't. If I'm not wrong, uh, you are gonna have different values. But uh, um, when you are going to do this uh, on your project, uh, you have to adapt it, of course. So now I'm going to go back here. Uh, yeah, I... Uh... The, mm -hmm. the height of the floor is uh, the first slab with the interior without the last slab? Between, between so basically, you can also or you can also see it from here. So it's yes. uh, yeah. You can uh, take in account uh, only one slab because okay. uh, yes, if yes. you take uh, to the let's say first floor uh, both slab, uh, you are going not uh, to have it on the ground floor and then the second floor. No. Okay. But you can also take it from uh, the structural uh, uh, point here. You have it. So it's uh, 285. Yeah. Let's see. It's not that uh, that important because also he's gonna read all the rooms and uh, there it's gonna make all the all the reading. Let's see. Okay. Um, Uh, the next uh, thing we have the thermal uh, uh, inertia thermica, and here we can uh, choose, let's say, a media, and also the classa de permeabilitate. Uh, we can uh, put uh, uh, if uh, we want uh, some uh, um, uh, value here, some uh, um, option here, and uh, what uh, this uh, are gonna change is uh, this uh, little uh, two boxes here, which are going to uh, take in account some uh, coefficients in uh, uh, taking account of this, uh, this option that we took uh, here. Okay, so uh, we are going to enter now some uh, approximative dimension of the building for this one. I'm going to say that uh, our length is, uh, 
let's say uh, 11. Let's see me 9.5. And as you can see, the uh, surface uh, is gonna be uh, automatically uh, filled in. Uh, if we are going to make this uh, heating demand uh, uh, calcul for, uh, let's say, a building that, uh, that have uh, uh, more floors, uh, we are going to enter here all the floors. And um, yes, the system is going to be for all the building. But uh, for this example, we are going to take only one floor. So basically, um, what is this, this about? For example, for this uh, apartment, I'm going to make um, um, his own uh, source of uh, of heating and not, uh, let's say, a general uh, source. At, it was uh, for uh, the communist period when uh, we had uh, the uh, central heating uh, system, okay? For uh, this uh, example, I'm going to make like, uh, um, our nowadays, we, when we have uh, all the um, centrale de apartment, let's say, okay, and um, that's why I'm going to uh, say here that uh, we are going to put only one floor because uh, it's only this one that, that we are going to make now. Um, Excuse me. Yes. Uh, now I work uh, to my uh, to my pro project. It's okay if I put uh, there two two levels. Uh, if you wanna make uh, two levels, uh, I uh, it's okay for me. But uh, you can also put only one in order to make this exercise. And uh, um, in my opinion, it's enough. Okay. So because... basically, if you put two. Uh, mm -hmm. you will have a bigger system and that's all. You will need to copy uh, the, the ground floor to the second floor, make some uh, changes <laughs> and uh, you will uh, have to uh, double uh, do some uh, steps that uh, we are going to do only once because we have only one floor, let's say. Okay. So okay. as, uh, as we, uh, um, made uh, yesterday uh, only the uh, rooms for uh, this floor. If you have two floors, you need to make uh, the rooms also for the second floor. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, this uh, step that uh, we are doing now, uh, you are going to make it again for the second floor also. Only this uh, window is gonna be uh, the same the general uh, data for all the building. That's why uh, here it's going to ask you for all the building. But that, after that, we are going to say that, uh, see that uh, uh, all the windows are referring at this floor because you are taking account floor by floor with uh, all the rooms that uh, are included in that floor. Okay, thank Is you. that okay? Yes, okay. yes. Perfect. So it's no problem if you are going to do even 20 floors but it's only uh, the volume of the work that uh, that's changing, okay? So the height of the floor, I'm going to say, let's say uh, 285, uh, Grossime Plan Show. Uh, do you know how much? 15, uh, 15. 15, 15. Okay, 0. 0.5, you are know it better than me. Let's make Ladira, it's gonna make it uh, automatically. If I was putting here, let's say uh, four, five floors, it's gonna change it. Okay, so that's why uh, I said you that, I told you that uh, there are some uh, boxes that's gonna fill uh, automatically. Uh, and um, also the uh, global coefficient that's uh, eating our days and when we <laughs> do it uh, manually. So, and uh, the other uh, thing, I think uh, we can uh, we can let it uh, like this, <clears throat> and um, as I've told you, these uh, coefficients are uh, automatically uh, filled in based on uh, what we set in this area, and the uh, next uh, and the last uh, um, set things that we are going to do from uh, this window, it's about encalzire uh, adicionale. What's that uh, supposed to mean? So basically, let's think that uh, we have a, um, a 
hitting the, with the, um, cum îi zice la cazan, ca să-i zic mereu cazan, sau centrală? Boiler. 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 Ok, so we have basically a system with a boiler and uh, let's say uh, there is that uh, winter and that day when you have uh, minus uh, 25 degrees and you want to put uh, an additional electrical, let's say, uh, radiator, okay, that, that could be an uh, additional uh, heating. But uh, let's suppose that you have unusual additional heating That's, uh, that's not uh, the main system. You can uh, choose here the settings for uh, that additional uh, heating. And uh, you only have to uh, make this uh, profil utilizare. O să închid acum. Gata. Okay. And uh, for uh, this uh, option, you have to fill in uh, those... Uh, Uh, those criteria and also for uh, this area here. But uh, we are going to tell that uh, we don't have uh, încălzire additional, additional heating, okay? Uh, until now, there is any questions? No. Yeah, perfect, it's not that difficult, you see? And now we are going to, you are going to hit okay. And uh, I'm going to go back to your uh, window that I think you have also the same window as me now. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So uh, as I've told you uh, um, a few moments ago, uh, what we are going to, to uh, fill in now, it's uh, about the general, let's say uh, general window, general wall, general door, So the um, general um, element, and after that we are going to change only if uh, it is the case uh, um, for uh, the element uh, in case, okay? So now I'm going to say, let's say for uh, Fereste, we are going to click on this uh, little uh, uh, button on the left, on the right, sorry. And we are going to uh, have this uh, little window and here, Let's uh, suppose that uh, all uh, of the um, uh, window have uh, a glass of uh, jam uh, double thermoprotector, okay? So let's say that uh, almost all of the, our windows are like this. We can uh, choose this option. If, uh, for example, all of them was like this and only this one uh, wasn't, I will choose this, and after that, I will change only that one, okay? I think the idea is clear. And for example, here, so uh, we have to choose all the settings for this uh, standard window. Uh, don't uh, scare about these uh, dimensions. These are the, main, the dimension of the standard. But uh, after uh, this uh, step, you will see that uh, we are going to have um, all the, All, uh, all of our windows taken in account with uh, their dimension and uh, their characteristic, but, but with the specific, uh, uh, specifications of the uh, general of the standard window with the glass, with the frame and uh, all of that, okay? Okay. So this uh, U factor is going to be changing accordingly to uh, the dimension of the other, uh, the other window. It's not that difficult. Okay, and this, uh, we are going to let it like this. It's not uh, the case of this uh, course to enter in so much uh, details. And after that, uh, hit OK. Uh, we are going to do the same for, uh, uh, for doors. And uh, as for uh, this uh, um, example, we have uh, um, the majority of the doors in the inside, so they are interiors, interior uh, doors. It's normal that we are going to choose from uh, uh, this option, which one? First one. First one, exactly, because we are going to change only the one that's in exterior, to say uh, there that uh, it's in a exterior doors and the others are gonna be already uh, set up. 
Okay, and for this one, we are uh, we can also uh, choose uh, uh, other um, settings. Um, in the future, you can uh, uh, put it here uh, if it's uh, the case uh, in order to be um, to reflect the reality of uh, of the project. For this case, I'm going to leave it only for uh, the interior, and that's all. Okay. Uh, hit uh, okay again. And uh, now we are going to um, uh, to acoperish directly. We are not going to uh, make uh, changes for uh, stilp and uh, um, Perez ne definit. Uh, why? Because uh, stilp, uh, he's gonna read it uh, um, like uh, the material that uh, the architect or the structural engineer uh, define it, let's say concrete. And uh, that's all, we don't have uh, more uh, 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 layers or uh, something uh, more complicated like uh, for the uh, walls. And uh, Peretz ne definits, what's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean like uh, if you have a little, um, I don't think is the case here, maybe here, you see this little uh, area on the on this little uh, pillow. Mm -hmm. So in this year area, he maybe uh, don't know uh, that uh, this is uh, still a wall here, and he might uh, read this like uh, a wall. But um, after we are going to uh, uh, finish with this window, we are going to uh, make the changes uh, for uh, this uh, little. Uh, areas okay so uh, this uh, those uh, two uh, we are not going to uh, enter that and we are going to now uh, into uh, acoperish here <clears throat> you will uh, first meet this uh, this window uh, you are going to be very familiar with uh, this windows uh, window because we are going to work with it uh, in a few moments uh, a lot because it's in uh, this window that we are going to make the setting for a uh, very uh, in, in detail for every element. And um, so basically we have here a roof and uh, our roof, they say the upper slab, okay? It's uh, what kind of element? It's in uh, interior element, okay? And it is an uh, plancheau intermediate, okay? So our roof, basically it's the slab between us and uh, our uh, neighbor, okay? So that's why we are going to choose here a uh, plancheau intermediate and uh, we are going to uh, let uh, all of those uh, uh, settings like uh, like this because uh, they are um, already filled uh, filled in. Okay. Uh, if we were at the last floor, uh, we would choose exterior. No, it depends. So, for example, if uh, our your last floor was uh, to a uh, um, space uh, heated, let's say. Uh, Podul casei, cum se zice? Mansardă. Mansardă, ok. There, um, you have a closed space, it's not the exterior, but it is unheated, ok? Ne încălzit. Ok. And from here you can, uh, you can choose uh, okay. what, uh, what you need. And uh, if, uh, for example, your roof, uh, it's uh, direct directly to the exterior you have here exterior and also you can choose okay 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 so it's a uh, pretty uh, obvious let's say you only have to think like my space it's uh, on or uh, you have like an element on this part of the element what i have i have interior or exterior i have heated or not heated i have uh, closed or open to the exterior let's say okay and from this other uh, part you also have the the say uh, the same uh, criteria okay okay and uh, for this uh, <laughs> each part you have to to say here uh, some uh, to set some coefficients and uh, all uh, this kind of uh, the the things okay and uh, the temperature the um, 
humidity and uh, all of those. Okay, so um, up, 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 up. I'm going to, so I've cho I choose the, this one, okay? For this example. And uh, um, yeah, look, okay. I'm going to change only this color. This color is representing the color that we are going to see on uh, our drawing when uh, we are going to select this element, let's say, okay? And for this one, I'm going to choose the color number 14, let's say. And we are going to do with the red and green, the exterior and the interior walls after that. And uh, as our uh, roof and the top slab uh, are the same, we are going to, to make the same uh, settings. So uh, alegem tot planșul intermediar și lăsăm la fel, da? Ok. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, for the um, uh, for the floor, what do you have? La sol, uh, planșul pe sol. Ok. because we are at the ground floor. And hit OK also. I have a question. Yes, please. When is different the roof and the tavan? When, when these two are different? So basically, um, if you, uh, how can I say? <clears throat> The, <laughs> in this case, they are the same uh, when uh, they are different. When uh, when you have the level, because uh, on the last level, for example. Yes, 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 room. but I, I don't uh, think now I have uh, an example to say. Um, So maybe you have like a slab and after that slab, you have an, uh, uh, a roof on top. But uh, in that case, uh, there are two um, possibilities. Let's say the, the possibility to take uh, the uh, mansarda separately in the calcul or uh, individual or, or uh, at uh, the same in the same time with the others. And maybe there it's uh, not a difference. I did. I never. Uh, uh, okay. Um, make a sense of this uh, difference. Never put okay. this question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, the next uh, part that uh, we are going to fill it. It's this uh, right part. And uh, this is a little bit uh, tricky now because uh, here we have to. Uh, pay a little bit attention at uh, the way that uh, the architect uh, defined uh, um, his uh, wall. So basically what uh, do we have here? We have here um, uh, two type of walls, okay? We have these exterior walls and these interior walls, but these interior walls are uh, two kind of walls. Those one, uh, the bigger one and the smallest one, okay? So that's a little bit tricky for us to, to make it uh, uh, at once, all of them, in order to not say after that, uh, this one, instead of exterior wall, it's uh, an interior wall, even if this uh, uh, have a very big uh, uh, dimension, let's say, okay? So, um, I think you can help me now and say if uh, this uh, interior wall uh, you did de de uh, define it like uh, on, uh, uh, with uh, one or two or three layers or only one layer. Au un singur strat sau mai multe straturi de interior? One, one layer, one layer. One layer. So I'm going to, to put here two. So basically what we are going to tell him here, it's uh, uh, the general or 
approximately uh, the settings or how can he uh, recognize that uh, on wall it's an exterior wall and after that the other's wall is going to be interior it's uh, obvious so for uh, this uh, i will fill uh, two because i see that uh, the exterior wall in general have at least two uh, layers and uh, also uh, you can uh, put some uh, value for uh, the thickness of the wall so um, hmm. do you remember uh, what was the thickness of, of uh, this wall the bricks is 25 in 25. relation to 35 35 in total okay yeah. and this one i think it's uh, only 25 mm. yes yes okay so uh, for example here i'm going to to put let's say uh, 30 and uh, every uh, dimension uh, biggest big, uh, big bigger than uh, 30 is gonna suppose that uh, that's uh, an um, exterior wall so even uh, that uh, 35 okay in order to have some uh, error margin here okay and here uh, we can uh, choose the setting for uh, how can um, uh, for the color that uh, it's gonna show us uh, the element uh, when we are going to select it. And for interior wall, I'm going to set, let's say color number six, okay. And for the, here it's missing the exterior wall. Uh, we are going to choose number, let's say four. There are more um, uh, obvious. So more my evident color last the face of color now okay and uh, now uh, we are going to let uh, uh, or put the standard temperature for uh, this room uh, the temperature of the room uh, that it's uh, the most uh, common for uh, this uh, for this uh, plan and uh, what temperature should we put uh, i think uh, 21 or 22. Temperatura classica pentru dormitor. 20. Uh, 20. Okay. And uh, we are going to, so we are going to let uh, 20. And now as uh, we are doing uh, heating uh, demand uh, system, we are going to uh, make a uh, calcul for uh, each uh, room. Uh, because we need to know uh, the uh, heating for uh, heating demand for uh, every room but if uh, we were uh, doing so, for example an um, uh, energetic certificate certificate energetic in that case we were in interested only in the heated that was uh, going out uh, from our building so uh, we wasn't uh, interested only in the envelope. Sorry? No, uh, it was an um, unmute. Okay. okay, so in that case, uh, we were interested on, in uh, taking in account uh, the floor and not each uh, room, okay? But for this, uh, for this uh, exercise, we are going to uh, go with the preluare camere. And, um, and after that, we are going to uh, hit OK. And here, we have this uh, little and uh, cute uh, small uh, <laughs> window. And it's a little bit important here. Why? Because uh, if uh, we don't want to make any changes, we can uh, hit Abandon. If we want to... Um, select only some uh, some room some rooms uh, we can uh, only uh, hit a select here and uh, let's say uh, this one and this one and the others are not going to uh, take in account i don't know uh, an example uh, to say it uh, from a live uh, situation here but uh, you have this option if you need it and uh, if for example uh, you are doing uh, this uh, after uh, um, an uh, architectural uh, change let's say the architect decide that uh, he want to close a balcony here and uh, so you have here a new room 
you can uh, select uh, cele noi and uh, he's gonna add your new room at uh, the same uh, floor, okay? And you also have uh, this um, uh, option toate and in this case you are going to um, and to, to take in account all the rooms. Uh, pay attention if you uh, are doing, for example, uh, only uh, the heating demand system for this uh, apartment, and you've done already the rooms for the other apartment, and they are also uh, evident in the, in the same uh, in the same drawing, and you are going to uh, hit uh, toate. Uh, he's gonna take all all the floor in account, all the rooms from this floor. Okay, so in that case, let's say you have uh, already uh, set all the all the others room, you should uh, select the select and select only this uh, only this one. Okay. So in my case, because I have only those uh, these uh, rooms, I'm gonna select toate. And uh, now uh, we are going to wait for him to make something. That's a lot. That's uh, that's all. He uh, make uh, already all the calcul. And now, uh, until now, I want to ask you if uh, there is some questions. No. No. Perfect. Uh, we still have time to enter a new function and uh, discuss a lot there, or. Uh, uh, our meeting is gonna end. Mm, I think it's okay. We have uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Ah, oh, 10 okay. minutes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm trying to make it uh, efficient, not fast. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Very the, good. Next, the next, uh, the next um, uh, option that we are going to enter, it's in uh, this, uh, uh, on this uh, little uh, house symbol on uh, vedere camere etage okay and here we are going to have a surprise so in this uh, left side uh, as you can see you have this uh, um, uh, little house with uh, which has uh, the name of our project and here you can see this little p this little p uh, comes from uh, this uh, um, uh, this name of the room that I've told you uh, to put uh, this uh, point character in order for him to know and put it here only the P, not uh, something else, let's say, okay? And here you have uh, your floor that you've, um, uh, you've just uh, read it uh, in the, uh, functions that you've done uh, a few moments ago. A little uh, parenthesis here. If, for example, for uh, your study, uh, you are doing a building with uh, more floors, what you have to do in this step, which is different from uh, what we are going to do from uh, now, now, now on for uh, this example, it's uh, to hit abandon here, go to the um, upper floor let's say also with the red and this one uh, unselected and you were uh, going also at uh, this uh, function and uh, make the almost here uh, is the same only the maybe the uh, roof or the uh, slab uh, it's different hit okay he's gonna read it uh, also the upper floor and then here you We'll see, uh, let's say, uh, an E from on an E1 from the floor one, let's say, okay? Um, and that's uh, the, only, uh, the only thing that you need to do uh, more. Okay, so uh, what we are going to uh, make, uh, uh, to do now uh, till uh, our little break, we are going to uh, make the setting for uh, every uh, room, uh, but let's uh, talk firstly, okay, uh, about rooms, not the element of the rooms, because you are going to see if you are uh, clicking on uh, one of uh, those rooms, you are gonna see in the left, uh, on the right side of the element. We are going uh, to talk about them in a few moments. 
first of all, I want to uh, double click on the room on the left side here. And you will see this uh, little window. Okay. And uh, in this window, you can change, if it's the case, the settings for this room. So basically, what we've done uh, a few moments ago was the general uh, settings. And now we uh, start, we are starting to change if uh, it's the case in uh, some uh, places, uh, the settings. Okay. So as this one is the uh, technical room, uh, I will uh, suppose that's not heated and uh, he's <laughs> I'm gonna let it like this and uh, with the temperature of 20 is uh, you can change it uh, if you want here or if you select uh, one of those uh those uh, options is gonna be uh, change uh, automatically the dimensions here are uh, already uh, filled in and the uh, next uh, option on the left side here you have the um, um, the settings for uh, the auxiliary heating if it's the case in our case it's not and um, also if your room is uh, really really uh, high you need to fill in a uh, uh, correction coefficient and uh, yeah you need to fill it here then you have the uh, let's say uh, ventilation uh, point of uh, of uh, mm. Scapă în, în engleză. Deci, influența pe care o are ventilația, necesarul de căldură. Da. Da? Avem infiltrații, avem uh, toate cele. Uh, and here we, we have uh, also, uh, we need to uh, select the type of the building. And here we have the coefficient. If uh, there are some um, um, others, uh, some other um, uh, criteria we can uh, choose it here um, but we are going to suppose here that we are uh, we don't have it uh, even if after that we are going to make a uh, ventilation system okay and uh, for the noise uh, um, system uh, noise uh, point of view also we have to um, make some uh, choice, uh, ch some changes is if, if is the case. Um, for this example, I'm going to let it uh, 25. Why does that mean? It uh, mean that uh, it's going to be below 25. And here it's going to be upper than, uh, higher than uh, 30. OK? And uh, OK. Uh, we have to do like this for uh, every every room. So uh, from here, it's only a thing about uh, making the right uh, settings for, uh, for uh, your uh, building. And uh, yes, I'm going to make it quick. And, uh, not, uh, if you have any question, I don't. Uh, so okay. for, uh, yes. For example, in uh, the, Camera technica. Ok. Uh, she show me, I have two windows, but I have just one and one door. I have to change it or what? You seen it here in on the yeah, right yeah. side. Yeah. We are going to talk a little bit uh, later about uh, this area. Okay. Because I don't think, if we enter this area, we are not uh, going to make it in the time uh, that uh, we are going to uh, be interrupted about uh, Zoom. Okay. Okay. So uh, if we manage to set all the rooms here after uh, the break, we are going to make uh, uh, the setting for uh, every each element uh, of the each room. Okay. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Uh, by the servicio. So here we have. Camera uh... pentru Yeah, 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 yeah. It's easier to search it uh, 
E mai ușor să o cauți după temperatură, din punctul meu de vedere, că știi că e 22. E mai cald acolo. Ok, and uh, also only heating. The, the others we can let it like this. Ok. Ok. Double click. That's ok. Only heating. Ok. Ok. Dormitor 1. Let's say even cold. As we go, uh, you can see here that uh, there is an um, there is a different uh, symbol at the first uh, first uh, room. What's that uh, mean? It means that uh, that room it's not uh, heated or uh, cold. Okay, so it's uh, an indicator indicator uh, for you to to know it in advance. Okay. So what uh, we've done it uh, was to uh, make the setting for uh, the room in, from the temperature and uh, all the others uh, point of view. And uh, what uh, we need to we need to do now is to enter every element if it's the case and uh, adapt it uh, in order to be as uh, close to the reality as possible. Okay. So, uh, for example, we are going to uh, take the first room. I'm going to make a zoom in this area. And um, the first thing that uh, we are going to do is to click this uh, little uh, box here, uh, marker individual elemente in CAD, in order to be able to see uh, when we are going to click on uh, one of the, the element, uh, his. Uh, just a second here. As you can see here, you see a red uh, line on that area. Now it's here. So uh, you can see uh, the, in the plan view, the element that you are uh, doing uh, changes. And um, so, uh, as uh, I've told you, uh, we are going, we was uh, making a general uh, reading of the plan. And um, as uh, the software read, um, he find the uh, um, uh, different type of wall uh, in taking in account the, um, the wall thickness, the let's say the layers and all uh, the material, all uh, the different criteria, let's say, and uh, in taking account that uh, that uh, kind of uh, things, he uh, um, um, decide to make a different uh, different uh, type of uh, wall. Let's say a perete o uh, two, perete o four. As okay, so that means that uh, this uh, perete o four. I can uh, find it also in other room. Let's say by a servitu. You can see it here. It's uh, also this one. Okay, it's normal. Okay, and uh, that means that uh, if you change the settings for uh, Perete 04, for example, you will uh, change it uh, for uh, every uh, wall of uh, that type, let's say Perete 04, okay? Wall 04. Um, so what uh, we need to do now, it's uh, first of all, see if uh, we have uh, 
that uh, undefined uh, wall that I've told you uh, on the second uh, window that we had. So, uh, acei pereți ne definiți uh, să verificăm dacă avem aici acel tip de pereți și să-i analizăm. Uh, for this uh, case, uh, in this moment, it's not uh, the case. It's uh, very nice. And uh, um, in the in the case that, uh, for example, we we had some element that uh, he didn't read it uh, for some I don't know uh, what uh, reason, you can always add uh, your uh, new elements. Let's say uh, in this uh, in this wall, I want to add a door. I only have to select it, right click on it, and then uh, insert a new door, okay? And like this, uh, we can uh, do with, uh, with uh, every element and uh, we can introduce uh, every type of uh, element in that uh, element, okay? And also, uh, if you have an, uh, if you have an element that uh, it's uh, it's not needed, it's it's in a, it's a, este un plus. You can also uh, click on stergere uh, linie, and then uh, you will uh, er erase it. Okay. So um, we are going to uh, go first of all with. Uh, Yes, I think I'm, I wasn't uh, too inspired to choose the red color for the interior walls because I see that uh, we have already some interior uh, walls uh, with the uh, red lines. Maybe it was good for uh, the structural <laughs> engineers. Okay, I'm going to uh, continue and uh, let it like this. So what I'm going to do now is uh, to enter uh, by uh, uh, double click on the element and uh, see a little bit the um, properties and uh, I'm going to uh, to see what uh, what he finds here so basically um, here on the left side as you can see he uh, show us uh, every uh, type of uh, element that uh, he read so these elements are uh, composed by the um, architectural uh, element that uh, the person who make the architecture or the structure uh, defined the element so here for example we have uh, uh, only a brick okay that's normal it's uh, in this way that uh, he defined the wall uh, we can uh, let it like this or um, uh, we can uh, change it we can uh, make some uh, new templates and uh, work with them and uh, we can also make a different wall in order to make uh, let's say an um, optimization of uh, this uh, this uh, system for example i can uh, see what's the impact on the heating demand uh, with um, an wall uh, um, made uh, in a uh, um, brick or made in um, um, on a rigid structure with the insulation inside, for example, or uh, that case of uh, or that type of uh, studies. But for uh, this example, I I'm gonna only show you um, the settings that you can do, and after that you can play uh, with uh, those uh, settings uh, in uh, every type uh, you want. So I'm going to. Um, go uh, at uh, this uh, wall and um, the first thing that i want to show you it's if you uh, right click on uh, mm, this uh, element you can uh, uh, click on copy element you have it here you can change uh, the name i will say uh, test wall okay and uh, this uh, wall, I can uh, also, uh, um, I'm going to, on this wall, I'm going to show you all the settings that uh, you, can, uh, you can do, okay? So basically, the first of all, you can uh, change the U value, uh, transmitanza in uh, Romanește, 
um, uh, if it's uh, if you want, you can change the type of the of the wall. I will say uh, interior, okay, and um, the color, as I've told you, the temperature. Those are uh, the things that I've uh, already talked uh, with you about. But um, I want to talk a little bit of this uh, this little uh, area where uh, you can find all the layers that uh, our uh, walls uh, contain. And, um, and here we can uh, make a lot of uh, changes. So first of all, we can uh, um, uh, introduce a new uh, layer, uh, delete it, of course, and uh, also uh, uh, move it uh, in uh, in uh, in funcție de celelalte straturi. Okay. Um, we can also uh, duplicate it and uh, let's say uh, change the the thickness in order to see if uh, we have any changes. Uh, we can um, make a new, a new, a new element, and uh, here, as you will see, open, open. Okay. Uh, if you click on the new element, uh, you will see that uh, he's gonna send you at a new window. Uh, it's called the uh, catalog materiales. So basically, here you have all the uh, materials that uh, the uh, Swift uh, software uh, come uh, comes with. Um, you have here a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of uh, producers. Uh, in general, I'm going with uh, this C uh, 107, uh, and from here I'm uh, choosing the type of the material, and from uh, that uh, type I have um, a lot of um, other materials in that category. Okay, so uh, let's say that uh, what can we choose? Mm-hmm. Zideria. Let's uh, choose uh, Zideria. <laughs> and um, here, uh, as you can see, uh, you have a lot of uh, data already filled in by the uh, producer. And if, uh, for example, um, you need uh, another type of um, element, uh, which is uh, also uh, uh, this uh, type of um, Um, which is also, uh, let's say, Zidarie. You can uh, always uh, add it here. Uh, so um, if you click on uh, this uh, last uh, line and uh, double click on uh, these uh, little uh, boxes, you can uh, always, uh, uh, let's say, uh, add your uh, elements. Um, And uh, with the criteria uh, from uh, the technical um, uh, data that you have from your uh, producer, okay. So here you have to fill in uh, all your uh, all your data data, and um, after that you hit OK, and uh, you will have your uh, new uh, material, and uh, it will appear here and uh, aside of uh, the others. Uh, uh, layers. Okay, I will uh, delete it. So basically, you can uh, create uh, everything you want here. It's not. Uh, I didn't see the limit until now. <laughs> okay, you can also uh, search it uh, by by name or density or lambda in order to be easier to find the the material that you want. Um, and uh, yes, I don't think there is any anything more to talk about uh, about this. I will uh, choose uh, this uh, last one, Karamida uh, Porter, for this example. Hit OK, and you will see here that it's appear, and um, the um, 
the thing that uh, you are going to see the first one is the um, uh, wall thickness the layer thickness that you add and um, okay uh, and uh, you need to to fill it here on um, a thickness of this layer let's say one uh, three in order to be uh, able to see it here very easily you see now uh, we have uh, we have it here and uh, if we move it it's gonna you, you are going to see it here okay and um, yeah that's it it's not uh, it's not too difficult you also need to uh, set uh, here if it's the wall uh, the uh, ceiling or the floor and um, first of all let me uh, delete uh, this uh, this layer and uh, you have here some uh, some little options you can see uh, the the uh, vapor diffusion and uh, also if you go to diffuse vapor here the second uh, tab you uh, are going to see that in this case we don't have a uh, vapor condense avem condense now uh, i'm going to add another layer uh, um, for the purpose to have some uh, um, uh, condense there uh, maybe some plastic or something caoutchouc i don't know uh, i'm going just uh, to edit in order to be able to have something there to show you uh, something interesting maybe here I don't not working with this uh, I will try with another uh, wall yeah I uh, I'm not gonna lose time now to try to make <laughs> this wall uh, to have uh, some uh, humidity inside him Please. No. So yeah, as we, as we can see here, the temperature of the uh, on this wall it's uh, zero degree in the insulation uh, layer, so it's normal that we uh, don't uh, collect um, uh, humidity. Oh, okay. So here. That's what uh, I was uh, trying to show you that. Yeah, perfect. Uh, as you can see here at uh, this element, uh, if uh, we are going to uh, diffuse vapor and then on uh, diffuse vapor here, you are going to see uh, this kind of uh, uh, results. And also on, um, on uh, grid of colors so what uh, that uh, red means it means that uh, you are going to collect uh, humidity in that period of the year so in uh, january february march you are going to collect the uh, humidity on uh, the yellow ones you are going to uh, start to uh, lose it and uh, on the green one you are uh, you are okay you are uh, you don't have humidity in your uh, in your um, element okay so uh, what we need to do uh, in this uh, in this moment it's like uh, to play with uh, these uh, layers in order to uh, to have the result that uh, we find uh, uh, <laughs> directly here with uh, this result uh, without uh, condense okay because it's not okay for an uh, architectural element to have uh, Condense inside. Who say chila condense in English? Condensation. Serious? 
mi-era frică să nu fac o românească de aia. <laughs> ok, condensation, bine. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically that's uh, about this, uh, this little uh, window. I'm going to delete uh, this uh, element. Uh, hit abandon. Yes. And um, till now, any questions? Uh, I see that uh, in uh, the ground floor, you don't have the dining room or sfragerie. Yes. Ah, oh. oh. yes, of course. <laughs> Because I name it uh, wrong here. Bucătării. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why. Uh, I, uh, I will have to make it again. <laughs> okay, I will hit OK. Totem. Okay, so basically, uh, in order to um, make him read also this, uh, this room, that I was uh, uh, defined uh, wrong, and I wasn't see it here. Uh, what I was uh, supposed to do, it was to go um, at the um, definire automată lere. So, m-am întors înapoi din zona de unde preiau elementele. Deci avem, ca să fie clar chestia asta, că e destul de, e cea mai importantă, despre asta este vorba, o să zic două secunde în română. Deci avem fereastra asta de unde preiau elementele, în general, deci ce am în plan, fac calculatorul să citească, după care cu fereastra, cu opțiunea a doua, elementele astea preluate, mă apuc și le editez pe fiecare cum vreau. O dată la nivel de cameră, cum am făcut prima dată, după care la nivel de elemente, pereți, uși, perestri și așa mai departe. Chestia asta e cam toată ideea pe care trebuie să o știți la, la pașii ăștia pe care urmăm, da? Uh, and uh, that's why I've uh, uh, returned to this uh, step and uh, I've let uh, all uh, the same and here I've uh, uh, made uh, a new uh, reading of uh, all, the, all the rooms. Okay, and now if I'm uh, coming back at uh, the third step, I will see here my uh, lovely room here, okay? So now uh, we have uh, suffragerie. Okay, uh, and I will also add uh, a window here. As I can see that uh, it's not uh, there. Ah, yes, it is, sorry. Okay, so we have here the, the window. So basically, uh, as I uh, just uh, told you, you have to um, make all the settings for um, um, for the elements uh, that you have here and um, in order to reflect the reality of the of the building okay um, okay i think uh, that's it uh, for uh, this uh, this uh, step um, so after we've uh, made uh, all the settings for uh, for uh, our building what uh, we need uh, to do in order to uh, uh, make the calcul for the heating uh, demand, it's only to click on uh, this uh, little uh, button. And then uh, um, you will uh, um, have this, uh, um, this window where uh, you can uh, select all the rooms that uh, you want to make the heating demand uh, calcul for okay so um this i will uh, i will i can uh, choose uh, marcare toate and then he will uh, uh, mark um, all of them here uh, he told he, he um, announced me that we have this uh, little room which is uh, unheated i will uh, set okay And uh, 
Yes, I'm going to make uh, the heating demand uh, for all the system. Hit OK. And now he's going to make an uh, Excel file for you. You have to be a little bit uh, patient in order for it uh, to, uh, to make it because he's uh, going to give you uh, some uh, general information. And after that, he's going to make uh, some uh, calcul for uh, each uh, room. OK, so now uh, that uh, we have it, I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, like the results that uh, we have here. Excel, so, uh, where is uh, the saving uh, folder for the Excel? Where, is uh, gonna find? where are we going to find it? <laughs> uh, that's a tricky question because I always uh, save it here on the uh, desktop. But uh, basically, he's uh, saved uh, in... Um, Cut data folder on uh, the background of the uh, Alplan and the AXME. You know, oh, you have so so we we're, we're gonna save as the folder. Yes, the yes, Excel. that's okay. that's what I uh, recommend you. And uh, if not, uh, you are not uh, gonna lose it. Uh, I have uh, in that uh, folder that I was uh, told you about. Uh, even uh, I think my uh, first uh, 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 Excel uh, report that I've done uh, since I have my uh, 2020 version. Okay, so uh, you you will have all of them there, but uh, I suggest uh, I advise you to save it uh, somewhere on the on the, in the folder on uh, your uh, computer somewhere else that uh, Alplan has. Okay, so basically in the first uh, sheet, the sheet A. A uh, you have the general uh, data that you filled in uh, for uh, the uh, building. Okay, you can uh, see it here. And uh, yeah, you will gonna see that uh, we have a lot of uh, information. Here, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit uh, bigger. You will have all the uh, rooms that uh, you've taken in account in uh, your uh, heating demand system. And here for uh, each room, you will have the uh, name and uh, the temperature for, uh, for everyone. Ah, I, uh, I didn't uh, change those one. And uh, yes, I will let it like this because it's, uh, you've seen already how to change uh, this one. Uh, that's motivul pentru care, ca să zic așa, ca să fie clar, motivul pentru care mi le-a mi le-a reschimbat la 20 cum era setarea generală, este pentru că eu i-am dat toate când am refăcut acea preluare și nu i-am dat cele noi, ca să-mi ia doar sufrageria. Și din cauza asta mi le-a refăcut pe toate cu 20 de grade, deci s-ar presupune că ar trebui să le refac pe toate pe varianta individuală, ok? Sper că e ok. Bine. Uh... The area and then uh, all the coefficients for the ventilation for the uh, uh, um, transfer and uh, the, here on the um, last uh, two uh, uh, column you have uh, the heating demand for uh, uh, each room and the total heating demand and here you have the heating demand uh, per uh, per square meter, okay? And uh, next, you have uh, all the rooms, the temperature and the uh, um, air, uh, air flux, schimburile de aer, infiltrațiile de aer, da? Okay, and uh, you, can, uh, you can see here uh, all, uh, all the data for, um, uh, again, for all the building, but here you have uh, more um, uh, obviously uh, the. Um, uh, aici se arată mult mai exact care sunt pierderile prin transmisie, care sunt pierderile prin ventilație, și în felul ăsta îți arată ție, adică poți să scoți de aici diferite concluzii de unde trebuie să mai intervii. Așa. And after that, you have uh, for each room all the specification in the upper part, then the lose uh, on uh, 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 transmission on the architectural uh, elements that you can uh, see also here. And uh, after that, uh, the 
heat loss uh, by uh, air. Okay, and uh, the total for this uh, for this room, and uh, the same uh, the same things uh, you can uh, find for every room. Of course, uh, they are uh, they are uh, particular for each room. Okay. So I will uh, save this, <laughs> uh, save this uh, Excel uh, somewhere on. Uh, ah, okay. Let's see. You can uh, find here the the path of uh, of the Excel that uh, you was uh, asking me. I don't know the name of the person that. Uh, Andrei Unica asking you. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. De ce aici vezi vezi unde se le salvează în ca data? Nu știam. Și aici, un fișier, uite-le pe toate, le găsește aici. <laughs> da? Se, se strângă da. aici multe. Dar eu, în general, le, le salvez pe desktop oriunde și pa, 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 după aia le mută în folderul pentru predat mai departe, da? Ok. Uh, now I'm going to uh, exit uh, this Excel file and I uh, maximize this window back. Where are you? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna little. I'm gonna go back uh, once more at this uh, window uh, because I uh, realized that I forgot to uh, show you something. And uh, what I mean by that, it's in uh, this window. Uh, you can see um, for uh, each element. For the four, first uh, two elements, you will see the initial of the name of uh, this element. So, um, deci aici, ce vreau să zic aici, e fix cu scurtăturile în română. Pentru elementele astea, deci pentru plăci de tavan și de sol, o să găsești prescurtarea sol-tavan, iar pentru restul pereților o să găsești orientările acestora. Deci nu mai ai perete să zici că e perete, o să găsești direct orientarea vest-sud-vest, sud-sud-est, da? Deci aici găsim orientările și aceste orientări pot fi modificate dacă vrei și vezi că el l-a preluat greșit, poți să le modifici. Asta vreau să punctez. And also, you can, uh, <coughs> you can change the type of uh, the element. You can say, for example, this, uh, this wall, uh, I'm in the technical room. Uh, this wall, it's not an interior wall, it's in a, it's an exterior wall, let's say, okay? You can always uh, change uh, this, uh, this uh, criteria from here also. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this uh, window by uh, clicking on the save and then, uh, okay. And, uh, yes, toate. Until now, uh, if there are uh, any questions, I want to make sure there, if there is a... Dacă sunt până acum întrebări, pentru că asta a fost, o, au fost niște etape mai complicate pentru prima vedere și dacă aici au fost uh, chestii neînțelese sau făcute greșit, Uh, după la radiatoare, când o să-i cerem radiatorul, poate să-mi dea un radiator cu toată camera și nu ar fi ok. De asta aș vrea să știu dacă până acum sunt... Uh... So, this entire process is for uh, us to know the temperature for every room. The heating demand for each okay. room. Yeah. Deci necesarul de căldură. Ai văzut că noi avem acum necesar de căldură pentru fiecare cameră. Da, da. Și în funcție de necesarul de căldură, adică tu știi cât ai nevoie să uh, adaugi căldură acolo, după tu te hotărăști. Vreau să adaug prin radiatoare, vreau să adaug prin aer cald, vreau să adaug prin ce vrei tu, da? da Așa, parte, exact. Ce... Și o să vezi acum că mergem la, la radiatoare și el o să-mi aleagă radiatorul singur în funcție de necesarul ăsta de căldură. Ok. Asta este și ordinea fizică normală pe care o facem și noi uh, în Excel, momentan, dacă nu lucrați în alt plan. Pentru necesare de căldură și ce... Da? Sau, da, mă rog, da. design builder, în ce mai lucrați fiecare, dar tot aceeași, același principiu este, în funcție de cât de avansat mergeți. Da? Nu știu dacă știți design builder, la fel, face un calcul în funcție de camere, la fel se define și acolo camerele, încăperile. Seamănă mai mult cu varianta asta. Uh, 
Ok, deci la mine facem abstracție de faptul că refăcând acea preluare pentru sufragerie, mi-a definit toate camerele cu 20 de grade, da? Și ar fi trebuit la baie mai mult și la, să zicem, bucătărie mai puțin, da? Nu ne uh, supărăm pe aspectul ăsta, nu mai pierd timpul acum să-l modific, pentru că deja știți cum. Ok? Uh, mai avem timp acum? Cât mai avem timp? Intru în... Uh, Partea a doua de distribuție, de alesul radiatoarelor? Cred sau... că mai avem timp, un, un sfert de oră, 20 minute maxim. Perfect. Atunci o să alegem radiatoarele, le punem și data viitoare facem traseul. Bine? Da. Ok. So, now we are going to, uh, to choose the radiator for each room based on the heating demand uh, that uh, that room has. So, What uh, we need to do now is to go to the second module, uh, it's called Încălzire, okay? And from here, we are going to uh, choose Așezare Radiatoare. You are going to see that's very, very easy. Easier that uh, you can think. So, uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We forgot to do something. Uh, As uh, we made the heating uh, uh, nu-mi vin cuvintele acum în engleză, deci am făcut preluarea camerelor și a trebuit să fim în, uh, în uh, desenul de arhitectură, iar pentru a pune corpurile de încălzire vom merge și le vom pune deja în modulul de instalații într-un desen cu corpurile de încălzire ca să fie frumos organizate, da? Schimbăm layerul, layerul nu? Schimbăm desenul, desenul, nu layer, desenul. Ah, desen. So, we are going to go into the um, building structure, okay, here. And uh, we are going to uh, put uh, our uh, ground floor on the yellow, not gray, yellow, okay, because we still need to read the, the rooms, okay. But we are going to uh, encălziri. And here we are uh, putting, we, are, we need to put uh, on red the corpus de încălzire. And uh, be careful to be red like this and not uh, uh, fade uh, red like this, okay? Okay, so now uh, as we have on red corpus de încălzire and on yellow the ground floor when or the floor where uh, you want to put uh, the radiators, you need to go to încălzire and then așezare radiatoare and here As uh, he asked on the <coughs> bottom left of the screen, introduceți camera sau uh, introduceți camera sau introduceți liber. So, what's that supposed to mean? So, basically, now I have to indicate him the room in which I want to put my radiator. So, what I have to do is to click inside this room. He's gonna uh, he's gonna read the heating demand that uh, I need. So basically here I have uh, almost uh, 1.5 kilowatt, okay? And in this window, or uh, with the help of this window, we are going to choose very easily the radiator that uh, we need. So um, just a little bit to present uh, you the, um, this window. Basically in the left side uh, on top here, we have the layer for this, uh, radiator so all the radiators are going to be um, automatically uh, uh, put by the software in the specific uh, layer of the radiators this layer uh, then on the bottom left you have uh, some um, um, furnizori some producer of the radiators Uh, I'm going to choose for this example uh, Purmo because I think almost everybody knows it uh, from Dedeman. <laughs> okay. And, uh, but I will come uh, back in a few moments here. And on this uh, center part, you can uh, make some uh, uh, criteria of uh, choosing these uh, radiators. For example, you can uh, say that uh, I want to uh, radiators only between these uh, two uh, lengths. I want uh, radiators who are uh, smaller than, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, 18, uh, 800 or uh, something like this. Okay. And uh, also the other, 
uh, the others, uh, just one second. All the other uh, criteria that you that you need. I don't know why uh, don't you have here. Compact, compact. Okay, so now uh, you can see here, uh, if I uh, put a rata tota radiator, you can see here all the radi uh, radiators that you have in this uh, catalog. Um, here you have some uh, data about uh, the room. Okay, so uh, the name, the temperature and the uh, heat uh, demand. And here you can um, uh, set the, the system that uh, you want to uh, uh, implement. If uh, here you don't have the uh, the the solution that you you wish is, uh, enter here your uh, temperature on tour uh, uh, and then uh, give it a name and save it and after that you can uh, recall it uh, whenever you need it and um, in this uh, in this um, sorry up. In these uh, uh, two little boxes, it's uh, tell you uh, the value of the uh, power uh, that uh, your um, radiator that you choose it's uh, giving you. And here you can see the percentage of uh, this uh, power uh, that's covering uh, your uh, need. So. Uh, as it's normal, uh, here we have a um, plus a lot, uh, uh, plus 50, uh, 70, uh, 57, um, because our uh, radiator give us uh, more than uh, we need, okay? So uh, what uh, else uh, it's uh, important here? It's important to um, know about uh, those uh, two little uh, boxes. This one. It's uh, giving you already uh, some uh, options that are very close to uh, your uh, heat, uh, heating demand, okay? And uh, the, the last one, the here where you have 100% uh, for moment, it means that your radiator, you wanna um, cover all the heat, uh, heat demand that you have for this room. And for example, if you are going to put here, let's say 50, what's that supposed to mean? 50, okay. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that your radiator is gonna cover only half of your uh, heating demand. And that means that you are going to put uh, two radiators, okay? So for example, if in this room, I wanna put two radiators, it's uh, normal that I need to cover only half of my uh, heating demand for this room with one radiator, okay? And so on. If I need uh, to put uh, three radiators, I will put, uh, I will divide by three, uh, 100 by divide by three, it's around 33.33% uh, 30, uh, uh, okay? And uh, that's how uh, you can uh, choose the power of the, of the radiator that you are going to use. And for this example, I'm going to uh, select the 100 here and uh, not all of the radiators. I'm going to choose a uh, height of uh, 600. Um, let me, here you can be anything. Uh, 45 is the minimum. Okay, and uh, yeah, I will uh, go with uh, the type uh, 22 and see if I have here something. No, they are uh, not uh, too. Um,
Okay, so I can see now that uh, this uh, 30 type 33 uh, radiator, it's uh, it's covering my uh, my need. It's a little bit uh, bigger, but it's not a, it's not a problem. Uh, and uh, also, uh, what I uh, missed to tell you is that you uh, it, you have to take in account that your uh, radiator fills uh, between uh, the height of the uh, floor and uh, the window. Of course, in the case that you want to put your radiator uh, below the, the window, okay? So it's normal that you have to pay attention at uh, that little detail. And that's why I uh, put here uh, my uh, height uh, maximum of uh, 600 in order to, to have here, let's say, um, uh, so we will gonna have uh, our, um, uh, our radiator is 600, uh, 10 hundred below and uh, another uh, uh, 10, uh, 100. Uh, deci să mai avem încă 10, 20 de centimetri sus și jos față de înălțimea radiatorului, da? E normal, ca să încapă frumos sub, sub geam acolo. Bun. Uh, and after that, we click OK. And, and we are going to uh, make a zoom on uh, this uh, place that we are going to uh, uh, put it. And uh, we are going to make, uh, let's say, uh, uh, ax line. Deci o să facem o linie de axă față de care o să îi spunem uh, programului pe ce parte față de linia asta de axă vreau să-mi amplaseze radiatorul. So I'm going to make an axe exactly the dimension of the window so that uh, the middle, it's uh, exactly in the middle of the window. And now I'm going to uh, make a click in the direction um, uh, that I want to extend uh, my uh, radiator uh, taking account this axe. So I'm going to click uh, inside uh, of, the, of the kitchen, inside of the room. If I was clicking uh, outside, I was have it uh, like uh, in um, uh, in the wall, okay? Um, yes. Uh, now I hit escape, and I'm going back to the same uh, same uh, option, and I click on the next uh, on the next uh, room, and uh, just. Uh, Mi-am dat seama că am omis două butoane, astea două de aici, îmi cer scuze. Uh, o să revin acum asupra lor, bine? Nu le-am uh, le observat și sunt destul de importante. Mai avem timp, da? Mă aude cineva? Uh, un minut cincizeci. Uh, ok. Uh, da, îmi cer scuze. <laughs> cer scuze. Am uitat nu... despre asta. Da. Deci ideea este da, că mai sunt butoanele astea două, unde, pentru explic în română, unde trebuie să-i spun cum vreau eu să mă racordez la acest calorifer, deci aici se pot face setări, să fie toate pe o parte, să fie părți opuse și așa mai departe. Iar noi, pentru exemplu ăsta, vom merge pe partea opusă. O să vedeți că aceste lucruri le putem modifica ulterior. Putem să introducem distanțe pentru modul în care vrem să ne legăm, distanța față de radiator și cât mă depărtez față de el și după mă duc mai departe la conducte și o să punem cam peste tot 0,1 în zona asta. Ok? Și mai departe am putea chiar și să uh, selectăm uh, robineții aceia de pe tur și de pe retur uh, dacă vrem să intrăm chiar atât de mult în detalii. Făcând un click pe acest buton cu puncte-puncte am putea alege de aici iarăși după uh, furnizor în primul rând avem aici toți, inclusiv hanile sau nu știu, da? Și după mergem, facem click pe el și tot așa ne amețim iarăși prin diferite cataloge, găsim aici ce ne trebuie, apăsăm OK și o să apară aici. Și așa ar trebui făcut și pentru tur și pentru retur. Pentru acest exemplu și pentru certificare sunt mulțumit dacă îl lăsați simplu aici, adică nu puneți, trebuie să nu puneți nimic. Da? Dar trebuie să știți dacă vă întreb de unde se face asta, de unde puteți face, da? Trebuie să știți că aveți această posibilitate, dacă vreți. O să apăs uh, să punem orice culoare pe caloriferii? Adică să apare el altă culoare? 
Da, da. Asta se poate schimba și ulterior schimbându-i culoarea layerului. Dacă da, asta am făcut. A zis, bine coleg, deci în zona asta am modificat distanța asta de la radiator cu conducte și așa mai departe, da? De la tur retur și foarte bine ai zis, avem celălalt buton unde trebuie să stabilim distanța de la perete, deci cum îl am eu, aici am peretele A, da, și aici da, da. pun caloriferul, îl dau mai așa, da? Distanța asta până la perete, care eu în general o consider, e bine, 0,05 de fapt, da? E vreo 5 cm trebuie să fie ca să aibă el zona de convecție. Zona, nu? Și acum. Poftim? Și suport, nu? În care să fie prins sau... Da, 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 da. Cât îl lași pe el față de perete. Deci ai, uh, ai aici așa peretele. Ah, nu se vede că e cu fundalul. Mă rog, ai peretele și pe radiator trebuie să-l pui mai aproape sau mai departe. Asta se poate juca și din suport să-i modifici distanța, da? Ok. Deci cu cât este el depărtat de la perete? Punct. Și după și... ce îl punem, mai putem să modificăm distanța asta? Da, poți să-l munți. Poți să-l munți cu mutare și așa, nu-i problemă. Uh, și după mai ai uh, uh, opțiunea asta, cu cât să țin în alțel de la podea, da? Deci trebuie să ai în vedere odată, cum am zis, înălțimea radiatorului, să știi că are 600 cum e la noi cazul, știi că parapetul ai de 900, deci mai ai 600 plus ăștia 100, îți încapă, vine în total 700, se încadrează frumos în ea 900, îți mai rămân 20 de cm deasupra. În cazul ăsta pot chiar să-l pun mai sus, dacă vreau, dar nu, o să-l las așa. Da? Și... Uh, deci aici mai vin finisajele, gen de software. Poți să pui 2, poți să pui 2 ca să da. fii sigur. Știi, nu, aici e chiar și o chestie, fiecare poate să pune ce vrea, dar să fie de bun simț, să nu fie pe tavan. E sau un dreptul ferestre, știi? Adică sunt... Dar trebuie să știi să modifici dacă vezi că ți s-a pus unde nu trebuie. Deci, l-ai șters, intri încă o dată și îl pui de aici, corect? Ok. Uh, nu mai știu acum dacă eram în uh, noua cameră. Da, suntem în camera mare. Uh, și cam, uh, cam asta era. Deci, ce mai eu mi se sens să vă zic. Și la fel trebuie făcut pentru fiecare, pentru fiecare radiator. Aveți varianta asta cu butonul rest ca să vă ducă mai aproape deja de ce aveți, ce aveți nevoie. Vedem că cel mai mare în cazul ăsta chiar și așa nu, nu acoperă și avem evident varianta să mergem să alegem de la alt producător. Am văzut unele persoane care fac chestia asta. Eu personal nu sunt de acord să iei un radiator de la, să zicem, Purmă, unul de la Vizman, unul de la... Da? Orice așa, că ăla când vrea după aia să se ducă să le cumpere, te înjură că trebuie să facă trei cereri de ofertă și uh, uh, nu, nu e normal așa ceva, da? Deci încercăm să, să găsim o soluție mergând pe același producător. Așa că ce o să fac? O să aleg un procent, să zicem 50, poate trebuie să pun două calorifere și să văd dacă în felul ăsta mie mă operă. Uh, și văd că este aproape suficient. Este cu puțin, mai puțin decât ar trebui să acopere, ceea ce nu cred că ar fi neapărat o problemă. O să o las așa. Aici mai trebuie să bibilită, dar iarăși nu-i scopul să vă uitați la mine cum bibilesc până nimeresc un calorifer. Scopul este să știți cum se pune un calorifer, da? Dacă sunt întrebări, aștept cu cel mai mare interes, dacă e caz. Deci l-am pus, am făcut axa de perete, am dat un click, mi-a pus radiatorul, fac la fel oriunde vreau. Am mai pus un radiator acolo, un radiator acolo, astfel încât să am cele două, având în vedere că am pus 50%. Da? Pot să pun oricâte calorifere vreau, până apăs, până apăs asta escape. Da? Vedeți că el acum încă mai mă lasă să pun calorifere. Nu mai puneți. Pentru că înseamnă că ați depășit necesarul ăla, da? Deci caloriferele pe care le puneți sunt calorifere care au seterile alea pe care le-am stabilit adineauri, în ferea asta de, de adineauri, da? Așa că o să fost escape și o să arăt pe acest calorifer, exemplu, uh, cu cum poate fi mutat uh, deci, când trebuie acolo. Este în plus, nu? Cum vedem noi aici. Al treilea, da, este în plus. L-am pus și special în plus pentru că o să-l și șterg. Asta vreau să vă arăt. Chiar dacă l-am pus, o să-l iau, să-l mut să îl rotesc, să zicem, cu 90 de grade și să-l așez, de fapt, pe peretele ăsta la altul. Adică nu intru iar în funcție să fac un alt perete și așa mai departe, un alt radiator. Știi, pot să-l iau direct de aici și să-l pun. El știe că ăsta este, vezi că și arată pe mouse, element încălzire. 
da? Deci el are în spate toate proprietățile. Ok? 